Whether or not a gamer plays or avoids sports games, there is one thing that everyone knows about, and that is the Madden curse. But before I explain exactly what this quote unquote curse is, let's do a brief history lesson on this little franchise we like to call Madden. Back in 1982, Electronic Arts was in the works of creating a new football game for the computer platform. And who would they endorse to be on the cover? Well, none other than John, oh, Montana. Well, that's who they first asked, but Montana already had a deal with Atari. Who I really meant was Joe... Cap. Wait, that was the second person they asked? Well, either way, Cap demanded more royalties than they could afford. Who I really meant was John... Yeah, John Madden. Okay, that's correct. Actually, Madden was not fully ready to put his name on the game until it was identical to actual football. What was he talking about? Originally, the game only had seven players on each team due to technical limitations, but Madden wanted 11 players on each, which was a daunting task for the programmers to execute. Finally, the six years of hard work paid off when John Madden Football made its debut on the Apple II computer. Soon afterwards, Madden Football made its debut on the Sega Genesis in 1990, and since then followed up with a new title roughly each year. Now that that's out of the way, let's shed some light on this supposed curse. Apparently, stories are told that say being on the cover of Madden is both glorious and detrimental. How? Well, so far, every player displayed on the yearly cover has somehow been negatively affected afterwards. Coincidence? Well, it's more unnatural seeing as how it's been a coincidence 14 times so far. Don't believe me? Well, then let me show you some facts. The origins of the Madden curse began in 1999 when mainstay cover boy John Madden was replaced by 49ers running back Garrison Hurst. But this cover only appeared on the PAL versions of the game. What happened to him? After he was featured on the cover, he broke his ankle and missed two full seasons. In 2000, EA decided to continue the cover trend by region, starting with Lions' Barry Sanders, but Barry promptly went into retirement. Later copies put Packers' Dorsey Levins on the cover, and midway through the season, Levins injured his knee and the Packers missed the playoffs. In 2001, Titans' Eddie George got an easy pass intercepted, which cost the game and destroyed the chance of getting to the Super Bowl. 2002, Vikings' Dante Culpepper was injured at the end of the football season. 2003, Rams' Marsha Falk had an ankle injury that hindered his performance. 2004, Falcons' Michael Vick broke his leg in the preseason. 2005, Ravens' Ray Lewis was benched from a torn hamstring. 2006, Eagles' Donovan McNabb received a sports hernia and had surgery which kept him out for the rest of the season. Still a coincidence? I'll continue. 2007, Seahawks' Sean Alexander broke his foot. 2008, Titans' Vince Young hurt his quadriceps, then later injured his knee. 2009, Jets' Brett Favre tore his bicep. In 2010, the two players on the front cover, Cardinals' Larry Fitzgerald and Steelers' Troy Polamalu, both had bad luck. Fitzgerald had a postseason rib injury, and Polamalu sprained his MCL. As for now, the curse is 14-0, and we are currently awaiting the fate of New Orleans Saints' Drew Brees. So what are your thoughts? Is the curse real? And if so, do you think Drew Brees can break it? Real or not, I for one have learned one very important thing about EA. They are never allowed to take my picture.